Here's a very short video on how to derive the parametric equations of a cycloid. So let's remember that a cycloid is the path taken by a point on the rim of a rolling wheel. So the easiest way to see a cycloid in action is to paint a little white dot on the wheel of your bicycle and roll it along the ground. And the path taken by that little white dot will be exactly the set of these little arches like this. So, for instance, if the dot begins on the ground here, as you roll the bike along, the dot will rise up the wheel until eventually it's at the top of the wheel, at this point here. And then, as you continue to roll, it'll come back down to the ground, and then this process will repeat. So what we want to do is find a description of these points in terms of some parameter describing how far the wheel has turned. So let's see how we do this. So here's a situation where P, the wheel has turned a little bit. P is beginning to rise up the wheel as the wheel moves. And the parameter we'll use is this angle here, theta, between CP, the line from the center of the wheel to the dot, and CT, the vertical line from the center of the wheel to the ground. So the first thing we want to ask is what is the distance here OT? And this is a slightly more complex concept. It turns out that since we're assuming the wheel is rolling without slipping, what is happening is that this curve distance here PT is exactly the same as the distance OT. So as the wheel rolls, it kind of if it rolled backwards, it would kind of gradually paint this line here. If we had a piece of string from T to P and we unwound it and brought it down, it would be exactly the distance from O to T. So, what is this distance from P to T, the length of this arc? Well, it's a well-known formula from elementary geometry that this is equal to the radius R times the angle theta. And notice that this is a special case of the very familiar formula for the circumference of a circle. That's when theta is equal to 2 pi, and this perimeter here becomes the whole circumference, which is, of course, 2 pi r. So this is just a slightly more general version of the 2 pi r formula. So since this is a basic fact of geometry, we'll just assume that, and we'll continue. So now we know what, that OT is r theta. But this distance x here, of course, is not OT. It's OT minus PQ. So what's PQ? Well, we, up here we have a little right angle triangle. The central angle, by definition here, is theta. This is the right angle. The hypotenuse is R. So PQ is just the opposite side of this right angle triangle. So the length of this is R sine theta. So the x coordinate here is OT minus PQ. It's r theta minus r sine theta. Now let's have a look at the uh, uh, y coordinate. This is a little easier. The y coordinate is going to be this distance here, which is the same as the distance qt. So that's ct minus cq. ct, of course, is just the radius of the circle, so that's r. And cq is the adjacent side of this right angle triangle, so it has length r cosine theta. So the y coordinate is r minus r cosine theta. And so that's how we get the parameter, the parametric equations of the cycloid in terms of this angle theta.